water body is impaired, shows up on the list, the 303D list, uh, 303D list, then states are required by the Clean Water Act to undertake a study uh, known as a total maximum daily load study. And, and quite simply, what that means is that uh, states required to determine how many pollutants of a certain type can be introduced into the water body uh, and the water body will still meet its, its intended use, so it will not be impaired. So we do a lot of monitoring, a lot of data collection to make a determination of what the current condition is. We do a study to calculate what the um, proper amount of pollutants are, because pollutants are going to get into the water bodies regardless. And so what is the difference between what is and what, uh, what, what the water body can absorb? And that's the total maximum daily load. There's a certain level of pollutant that can be introduced and um, not, um, not exceed the, the amount that protects the designated use. Okay, these uh, total maximum daily load studies are, are necessary and important, but they're only the first step toward restoration.